In IronCAD, you can convert objects into sheet metal parts. For example, let's go ahead and import a file from a different system that is a sheet metal part. We'll just go ahead and place this and zoom out so we can actually see our object. And we can see that this is actually a sheet metal part that was created in a possibly another system that we want to actually convert to our own sheet metal uh, in IronCAD so that we can continue to edit on it. For example, let's go ahead and hit our Convert to Sheet Metal part, and you can pick you know, your interface or outer face, whichever one you like to pick, and you can actually pick any stock that you want. Also, you can actually select Custom Stock, and if you pick the face again, you'll see that it'll actually determine what the actual thickness of that object is for you automatically. So, you can pick your own stock or just use the stock that was built with the geometry. We'll go ahead and hit OK, and notice it'll actually create a new sheet metal part of IronCAD. So we can go ahead and suppress or delete our original object, and you'll see that we now have our a sheet metal part as it was created for us based on that information. You can now do various things on this as if it was just our own IronCAD sheet metal objects. For example, you can add any punches or forms to your object. You can add additional bends. For example, maybe we want to add another bend to the outside of these these parts. We can do that on both sides if we like. This one's on the inside. We can drop it on the outside as well. Pull it out a little bit. Now we've modified our sheet metal part. We can actually unfold this and then create drawings just as if we would any IronCAD native geometry. So a very handy tool to do this on imported geometry. You can also do this in IronCAD geometry. For example, or solid geometry that you've might maybe have built and you want to build a sheet metal part around that. For example, on this step plate, we want to build a sheet metal piece that goes on top of this, you can actually select the command, again, pick the face that defines that sheet metal, and you can do various things again by picking the stock. You can also do an offset distance. For example, if our stock, we want to go ahead and pick a 24 gauge, which is 24 thickness here, we can actually offset this by 0.024, basically meaning that it's going to offset from that face to give us the sheet metal on the outside of this part, and hit OK. And you'll see that it actually creates that for us automatically built right along that surface of our, our solid geometry for us with the holes and everything intact. So all we need to do is right click on that and unfold. We have our sheet metal part automatically created for us. So a very handy feature to use even not only imported data but your own uh, IronCAD data and create sheet metal from that from a solid.